welcome back to my channel guys so today i'm going to be doing an update showing you guys what's been going on in my planning system for the past week or two um really i think that just the past week um, if i sound a little bit groggy or if my voice kind of just sounds like it's cracking a little Yesterday, I had my procedure. So for those of you who were following my pregnancy journey and uh, keeping up with the steps that I've been taking so that we could conceive, yesterday I finally had a hysteroscopy myomectomy. So, um, so yeah, I'm just a little bit out of it, but I really wanted to film this video for you all as seen as how... Uh, at the end of this week, we will not be here. So uh, let's get started. I'm um, hopefully going to try to make this video short because I just don't have the energy or like the stamina to like sit here right now. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So for the most part, um, this week, this past week, I had been using a... Um, personal size ring planner. I showed a full walkthrough of this last week. Um, I'll show you what, and I didn't even fill out a to-do. And the reason why I didn't fill out a to-do in this part of the planner for this week is because I knew um, for the majority of it, we wouldn't be here and then I would have the surgery and there wasn't a whole lot that I could get done anyway. So, um, I'll show you what July ended up looking like. I did show this in a previous video. So like I mentioned before, I would just put down subjects and subject names or subject, uh, blocks, so to speak. I don't really know the, the correct terminology for it, but I would put down that in here and then I would time it. So I would time how long it would take me to complete it. And then I would block out hours. What I was doing in here is I would input like my um, breaks and stuff. So I would put in what time I was taking breaks. So if I took a lunch break at, at noon, I would put lunch break at noon. So like here, for instance, um, how long was my lunch break? And then I would go back to school. I treated this like a full work schedule. So uh, it definitely helped me a lot to treat it as such because this definitely kept me on track. I started the school day early in the morning and I tried my hardest to end it by like 5 p.m. Um, that was my goal. I wanted to start early and end it like a usual, typical work day. Um, doing this kind of helps me out. This was sort of my schedule when I worked a desk job. And I scheduled in breaks in here um, because it is important that when you are sitting on a computer for extended periods of time that you do, uh, you know, take a break, walk around, stretch your legs uh, and rest your eyes for just a bit before you go back to working um, in your system. So um, when I had late starts or when things fluctuated, you'll see that it breaks up. They're not all the same. They won't always be the same. Lunch breaks won't always be the same. They will split up periodically throughout the week. And so you'll start to see that there are some breaks going on. And uh, I did not use this on the weekend, really. So you'll see that, too, when I had busier days or when I did more stuff, you'll see that this gets a little bit busier. Um, but still trying to keep within that uh, time frame of when I ended it. I ended up writing something down here that I was going to do, but realized what time it was for the day. And so I used some clear labels or some white labels to kind of like white it out just a little bit. Um, but yeah, so then you jump into uh, um, Saturday, which is the 1st of August. As you can see, I didn't do anything in that morning um, and I didn't do anything this particular day. So this was an off day for me. Um, you will have those sometimes. Life just gets busy. And so for me, it just got busy. And uh, like I said, I had a surgery yesterday, which was Monday the 3rd. And so I was 
getting myself ready for surgery. I also had to take a COVID-19 test before uh, the surgery just to make sure that I was, you know, good to go. And I took that. Thank God I was negative, but I took that and it is not a pleasant uh, test. So for anyone who's wondering, they did do the one where it goes all the way back into the nostril. I've seen them where they do two nostrils. I've seen them where they swipe like the inside tip, um, but mine's was just one nostril all the way back and it does not feel great. So just wanted to state that if you were wondering, but I had a busy weekend. This was a busy day. And so, um, yeah, I just, you know, I did what I had to do for the appointment and a lot of things got moved. This uh, sun, this past Sunday, which was the second, I ended up taking my COVID test this day. I did not feel great. I had a lot of stuff to do. And so that's what you're seeing here. Um, I do not try to put work on myself that I know for sure um, I won't get to. So this binder is primarily used for like appointments in school. And so I don't put home task in here. Occasionally I will if it's something that I need to see while I'm working. So like, for instance, Friday, uh, let's see. So like, for instance, Friday I had in here to call PPU, which was the people to give me my surgery time. That's the only personal thing that was in here. And honestly, I have appointments scheduled in here too. But um, outside of that, there's nothing else personal in here that would go in here. It's just, I try to keep it just at school and just at like, you know, major appointments. And so I didn't use it the second uh, I had my COVID test, didn't use it. Obviously I had my surgery. I kind of put this in here as a reminder to myself in case I got up um, and open this binder, but I put this in here just to let me know today is a surgery day. It was uh, a lot earlier. I had to be there at eight, so I wouldn't have even seen this because I was up a lot earlier in the day. And then here we are today on the fourth, and as you can see, it's blank. There's nothing in here. Um, I will attempt to probably complete at least one assignment today. Uh, we'll see how far I get through it. Like I said, I'm still a little groggy, so, um, I'm not going to push myself if I feel like I can't do it. So this was the bullet journal that I took with me to my appointments. I took it with me when I got my test and I took it with me to surgery. Um, not in the surgery, obviously, but I took it with me to the appointments. Uh, I had some important papers in the top here. If you guys could remember, those papers were pertaining to like my surgery. I'll flip to show you guys uh you know some some things um i don't really think i need to show you guys the end of july but just in case you're curious as to what happened the, like the very last of july so these were the weeklies this was my um last weekly for july and down here i just added a habit tracker i've been tracking like the prenatal pills that i take this was my completed July sleep tracker. Uh, took a couple of naps throughout. The lighter blue means that I was asleep and the darker blue means that I was awake and anything yellow means that I, I took a nap. Um, and then I did do my July reflections. <clears throat> excuse, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, so they put me to sleep for this procedure. I thought they were gonna give me like options uh, because they originally went over that with me, but they ended up putting me fully to sleep. And so that tube is no joke. Um, so this is August. You guys have seen the initial walkthrough of this. Um, like I said, I will be leaving this weekend, this, uh, end of the week. So Thursday. So what I did is I cut down this happy planner travel sheet. Uh, I got this in happy mail. I got like a couple of them in happy mail. So I cut it down and I put like our itinerary on it. It's not completely filled out like the things that I need and stuff to begin packing. But this just lets me know where we're going because this is the bullet journal that I will be taking with me. Um, I stuck with the master to do list for this week. Put in here a schedule. So Monday was surgery day and then attempting to pick back up school today. I will need to do school while I am gone. So 
uh, just to stay on track. I will need to do that and also habit tracker for prenatals because I've been put back on those. Also, um, to write on these, these sweet kawaii design stickers, you need a Sharpie or not a Sharpie pen, but like an actual Sharpie. This is a fine point Sharpie. You need something like this to write on these stickers. Otherwise, it will smear all over the place. Uh, I tested out the theory with this and it was just like, yeah, it's a hot mess. Or regular ballpoint, ballpoint pen will work just fine. Um, so I'll explain my tabs to the way that this is tabbed off up at the top. So this really should say uh, this week, but it just says to action. So anything that needs to be, you know, attended to, it made sense to me. Um, and in the beginning, when I started this bullet journal, I had daily, week, and month that I would move around. <clears throat> that I would move around from each week and each month and stuff. But I just decided <clears throat> decided to tab them off. So week, day, or month, day, week, sleep, and dailies. Those are what those tabs are, and they just keep going for each month that I have. So. Uh, this was yesterday this was the third or no what day was this this was the first so the first i was getting some stuff together as you can see i have a little schedule in here this just kind of lets me know where i was in the day uh since i do use a time daily for like a um like scheduling school and stuff and appointments this just lets me know where i was in the day um, I used it for this day and so far I like it because I have my master to do list here and then if there's something that is timed I have the option to put it in wherever I am in the day so like I had to take a COVID test between seven what was this yeah I had to take a COVID test between seven and four so I actually took my COVID test between seven and 10 a.m 10 a.m I got my COVID test complete and then anything else, I was on mandatory quarantine, so I couldn't do anything else outside of the house. Um, and this was Monday, so Monday I had surgery. And so uh, because I took this with me, I woke up around this time. I got my stuff ready. Uh, actually, surgery um, check-in was at 8, and then I had surgery between these hours. Actually, it went a little bit past because I was discharged around like one or two. So that's what you see here. You see me writing one or two being blocked out. And then I kept this also because I took some payments around 515 that day. So a uh, short day, but I would expect it. And then this is today. This is um, what I put in here so far. This is what I'm gonna try to get done. Um, it's not so much that, you know, like the surgery was really, really bad. Uh, it's just really like really, really bad cramps and just coming down from like everything coming back to normal from like anesthesia and stuff like that. So, and then just being tired too, because of the pain medicine that you take. But, um, this is my schedule for today. I'm going to try to, like I said, attempt to get like one assignment done for school today. I'm not going to push it. Um, I do have a package that is expected to come between uh, one and three. And then also I took, I wrote in here when I took payments this morning. So I took some at like nine. And so I will just count out and then uh, take some more payments um, just to kind of stay ahead of the pain. These are a couple of things that I wrote in here as reminders for the following day. Um, and then when I get ready to set this day up, I will then go ahead and put those reminders where they need to be. Um, like I said, because we are leaving on a Thursday, what I did was I blocked out the time schedule because I won't need it um, at all. So I just blocked it out um, and we'll resume once, you know, once I come into full, full schedule again, back to normal. So that's my bullet journal. And then the last update that I wanted to show you, this video is at 14 minutes. So I'm gonna try to make this really, really, really quick. Um, I showed you guys this. Now I said that I didn't know if I would put anything in the pockets. I do have a purple Print Pressions A610 coming. So 
can't wait for that to get here. These are just some uh, stickers that I actually laminated. And then you guys have seen this bookmark, but these are just stickers that I laminated and stuck in the front pocket uh, just to add a little bit of, you know, pizzazz. This front booklet, I was going to use it for daily planning or something, something daily, but I decided to go different route um, using it for uh, daily journaling. So this has been turned into like my health and wellness journal and planner. So this one is personal journaling. And then this one is like all things like 30, 31 days of gratitude. Um, I haven't done today yet. And then you have your habit tracker, mood tracker. So this I kept with, I was doing it in the personal rings, but just decided to put it in here. And then this was a spread that I did. I sat down and did, which is things that make me happy. So you can do any kind of the, you can do like a different kind of these sort of spreads throughout. If you ever just want to, you know, make spreads like this. And then this is a period tracker. My cycle has yet to start. So when it does, I will just put that in. And then there's nothing else. So I just keep this closed off. And it has uh, some stickers. Oops, what's going on here? Ugh, I'll fix it later. It has some stickers on it just to kind of jazz it up, like I said, because it was really, really plain. This notebook I was attempting to use as a daily sort of thing. So um, you'll see that I have like dailies, like only three set up because like I said, I just don't know. But there's only three in here set up. And what I intend to do is memory keeping uh, each day. So daily memory keeping. And so that's what will go in here it won't be anything like I'm planning for anything. It'll just be um, memory keeping. So me just going through writing what I did throughout the day. Um, and then the next booklet is still blank. So I have yet to figure out what to do with it. But that's my little update. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I sound groggy or like I'm in distress. Like I, like I mentioned, I did have the surgery and so, yeah, but like I always say, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if this is your first time joining um, and you would like to subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. And as always, guys, I will catch you in another planner related video. Bye, guys.